Hi, and welcome to the first episode of DM Tool Tutorials. I'm Miles, and we'll be going over improved initiative and how you can use this to run your combat smoother by rolling initiative for all your monsters at once. There it is. Making attack rolls with your monsters. There. Damage rolls. Skill checks. Ability checks. And a lot more. I've included a link in the descriptions below if you want to go ahead and check that out yourself. Now, as soon as you open that link, you'll see three sections in front of you. The library, which consists of creatures, characters, encounters, and even spells. Wherein you can actually cast this. Let's try casting alarm. Boom. And the alarm spell should show up here with all of its relative information. Next is the tracker. And of course, the information of whichever monster or creature that you select. Let's go ahead and add a combatant. If you look at your library, you can already see that you can add any creature that you want. Just scroll down. But you can also search for a creature. So for now, I want to go ahead and add a goblin. Add one goblin. Let's add maybe two goblins. Of course, we want to add some player characters. Go ahead and click characters here. I want a Mihan here and Blue Marlin. All right. You're going to notice a couple of things here. One thing is the initiative here. It's currently set to zero. Next are the portraits. Their names, of course. Hit points. And the armor class of each creature. Now, I mentioned earlier that this section here shows the stats and information of whatever combatant you choose. Yes, that is going to show once I click goblin here. So if I click the goblin, boom. Stats of the goblins are here. The small humanoid, armor class, hit points, speed, everything is here. Now the great thing about improved initiative, you can actually roll on this. To demonstrate, let's go ahead and do a scimitar attack. If you notice here, it says a melee weapon attack plus four to hit, and the plus four is underlined. So simply click plus four, and the attack should automatically roll. That's gonna be a 13 to hit. Clearly, this won't hit Blue Marlin because his AC is 23. Now let's say it does hit. Of course, the damage is already here. You can either get the average here for five or just roll it. That's 1d6 plus two, click that, and improved initiative does the rest. That's gonna be five slashing damage against Blue Marlin Blue Marlin will take that damage. Simply click his hit points here. You see that 5 damage is already automatically added here. So Improved Initiative detects that immediately. And you can simply just click the check icon here. And you notice that the HP of Blue Marlin over here was reduced by 5 points. Now let's start an encounter. First, we'll go on the toolbar here on the left and click the play icon or the start encounter icon. This will automatically roll all initiatives for every creature in the tracker. This will also include even your player characters. Now let's go click that and boom. You'll notice that the initiatives have already been rolled for your creatures and for your player characters. Now, if you want your players to roll their own initiatives, you can do that as well. Simply replace the values on this prompt window. So let's say Amihan rolled a 10 and maybe Blue Marlin rolled a 12. You can have that there and you can just go ahead and click that. Now let's get this encounter started. I'll just go ahead and exit the library here so we can get the stats of our most active combatant, do its actions, and we can click next turn on the left toolbar here so we can go ahead to Blue Marlin. Then after Blue Marlin, it's Goblin 1. Then after Goblin 1, it's a Mihan. Then after a Mihan, we end that round. And you'll see below the tracker that the number of rounds are being tracked. 
Now one more thing I want to touch before we end this video. Your players can also see what's going on with this tracker. Simply go to the left tab, click launch player view, and it will generate a link that you can share with your players. So simply copy that and go ahead and just send it to them. If you want to see an example of the player view, simply go ahead and click open player view and the tracker will display here and this is what your players will see. So there you go, improved initiative created by Evan Bailey. I left the link to his Patreon account if you want to go ahead and subscribe to his Patreon so you could help him out in this project. It's a very good tool. And if you found this video helpful and would want to see more of this in the future, a like, a comment, a subscribe will definitely help me a lot. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next. Bye.